If we could go back into those texts that were taken 1,700 years ago, and there are people that have done this, the texts taken out by the council were stored in the vaults of the Vatican Library. And there was at least one gentleman in the early part of the 1900s that was given access to those vaults and was able to transcribe many of those traditions. His name was Edmund Bordeaux Zeckley, or some people pronounce him Zeck. Edmund Bordeaux Zeckley translated those and brought the Essene Gospels forward into the 20th century. In addition to many of the other translations, the Coptic Greek, the Egyptian, the Ethiopian translations, they all carry these common threads of information. If we could go back and summarize the common threads that are important to us today, what we see in the 20th century idiom are a series of tenets, four tenets. Two of these will address in greater depth. One of these tenets says that we are unity by nature. It puts forth the idea that although there are many, many physical bodies walking this world, there's a single consciousness that's here, and every choice made by every individual and every moment of every life contributes to the collective nature of that consciousness. The second tenet reminds us that we're moving collectively toward this rare moment in human as well as earth history. The ancients called the shift of the ages, and that's what we've been speaking about, all of the phenomenon appearing to converge at this time in history. The third tenet reminds us that we have now and have always had what today we call an inner technology that allows us direct access to the creative forces of our world. We've always had a communion, a relationship directly with the creative forces of our world 1,700 years ago, we began to feel separate from our world and forget that. And the fourth tenet reminds us that the most ancient science, today we call compassion. Compassion is our opportunity to transcend the great challenges of life in history with grace. Here we are barreling down this road, and as the parameters, the geophysical parameters, converge on this time in history, our life parameters are converging as well. Many people, as I travel the world today, they sense that we are being challenged to levels beyond any level that we've ever been challenged before in our personal lives, in our emotional lives. In that space, they find their greatest strengths and they find their deepest loves and their greatest levels of compassion. And the ancients remind us through this fourth tenet that compassion is this most ancient science that allows us to transcend the great challenges. It's not that we're changing what happened, it's we're reconciling within our bodies what it means to us to transcend the great challenge, the personal challenges that occur in our individual lives that collectively become the global challenges. Compassion allows us to transcend these with grace. In these traditions, the Essene traditions, as well as many indigenous calendars, texts, and prophecies, we're reminded that history points to now. For thousands of generations, there's been an expectation that something big is about to occur in our world, and we're measuring that now, as well as within our bodies, and we're measuring that as well. Almost universally, ancient texts, codices, indigenous prophecies, Verbal accounts all remind us that all previous lifetimes point to this time in history, that we're given the benefit of thousands of generations of collective experience as our foundation from which to pivot forward into something brand new. That through our time in this world, in the presence of one another, and this is key, the Essenes actually put forth the idea that every human living on the surface of the earth by virtue of being in this world is an initiate of the highest order. By being in this world, we're invited to demonstrate the highest levels of mastery and we do it in the presence of one another. Rather than isolating ourselves from the challenges of this world, it's by plunging ourselves into the greatest challenges that we find our greatest strengths and we're reminded of our truest nature. And they remind us that during this lifetime, 
What we consider to be the greatest challenges of our lives will be the catalysts that carry us into the greatest expressions of human potential, what it means to be human. We'll explore these in greater detail through the science of compassion and the idea that we're moving collectively towards this rare moment in human history.